What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Look at that. I love the way the map tells you where the uh, where the mob is. You don't even have to try to find it. It's nice. Okay, so I'm going to kill Sindal. Sindali. Uh, can I get up there? Can I... Shere Khan? I don't know. Whatever. Can I get up there? I'm going to have to loot him, I think. And my bear... Ah, there we go. We got it. Mountain climbing should be a profession and wow. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying the game so much. And uh, just really enjoying BFA uh, now. I, I, it's it's night and day. It's it's weird just having like I don't know. I always I always enjoy whenever there's new content. It's all kind of um, can can uh, what's confined in one area. It wants me to go up there, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill the lash tail raptors because they're here. And holy crap, I might get myself killed. Holy holy crap! Ooh, is that a rare? Yep, it's a rare. We're gonna kill him. Hang on. Leave me alone, everything. Okay, kill the rear. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I really enjoy mid-level content, like the where where all the content is kind of like in the same area. So like right now, I go, I like waking up. You know, well, you know, not waking up, but like waking up, wanting to play WoW, and then when I log in, I go to Nazjatar. I do my dailies. I do the world quests. I get the rep, get the stuff, gear, uh, you know, power up whatever gear I can. Look at that man, that was a lot of XP. And then I, uh, you know, go to Nomergon, not Nomergon, Mechagon. That's it. <laughs> and I do the stuff there, and I, I like it. I like having a routine, man. It's, it's, it's nice. You know, it's, it's nice to have. It's nothing new, but it's just nice to have a, a routine. And I got like two mounts from Mechagon that I wasn't even expecting to get, and they're cool. They're like robot things. I got like this giant spider bot kind of thing. It's not really a spider bot per se. But it's like a four-legged robot kind of thing, and it's awesome. And then I got, like, this flying robot, which is really cool. It's like a bird bot. <laughs> it's awesome. So I'm enjoying it, man. I, I really am. I, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. And it's crazy for me to think that, like, in a month from now, while I'm enjoying myself in, in BFA, Classic's going to come out. And I'm going to have so much WoW gaming to do, uh, which is nice. Like, I haven't really... Like, there's a couple games that have come out that I really want to get. Uh, mostly Nintendo games like Mario Maker. Haven't picked it up yet. Just you know, haven't had the chance you know, with everything and and uh, and also just because I'm really into this and it's like if I'm not gonna play it right now, if I, I don't want to take a break from WoW, I'm just gonna keep playing WoW and then when I'm bored, I'll go pick it up or something or I'll pick it up when I'm wanting to take a break. Hey, Murloc, you want to fight? Uh, so like yeah, I, I, that's how much fun I'm having. I'm I. I Really haven't been this excited about WoW in a very long time. So, yeah, I'm, I still am, and it's in. It's been like I think two weeks since I made the video where I talked about how much I like BFA. Like, um, so uh, probably with, by the time this video comes out, it's probably been like three or four weeks. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's crazy. Like I, you know, I, I I I really want to like. Wow, I want to have fun with the game. I don't want the game to fail. I don't want the game to be boring. I want to enjoy myself playing it. I want to keep playing it for a very long time. It's been one of my favorite games, probably my main consistent game for over 10 years, and I don't want that to change. So I'm happy when the game is doing well. I really am. I'm 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 never rooting against the game. I, I'm not afraid to critique it. I don't love it so much that I won't be honest about uh, the when it's not doing so well. But overall, I. I really do enjoy it for what it is. I really, really sincerely do. So, yeah, it's it's nice. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. I could go on and on about that. I hope you guys are are enjoying WoW as much as I am. Because, like I said, I, I love it. I, I don't know what else there is. I haven't gotten into the raid. I did do... Uh, I, I did go into LFR and beat Jaina. Spoilers, if you haven't got there yet. <laughs> and finished that and did the, uh, the, the class campaign. That was kind of... Or not the class campaign, but the faction campaign or whatever it is. And that was a really cool fight, man. Like, I, I hate that I don't raid. I, I'm, I'm sure there have been a lot of great fights um, that I've missed out on. Because I haven't raided... When was the last time I raided? I think... Uh, let me think. I know I... Well, I raided in Legion, actually. But it wasn't for very long. I, oh, okay. So I rated in... I actually did rate a lot. I've rated a lot. Um, I'm trying to think of when I quit the first time. So I quit rating the first time in uh, Pandaria. It was 
the first... Well, no, because I raided the second raid. Jeez, I don't know, man. I think it was... No? Okay. <laughs> I Okay, now I remember. I'm so sorry. So I stopped... It wasn't actually that long. It seems like it was so long when I quit. I stopped raiding during Toes. <laughs> uh, Temple of Endless Springs or whatever it's called. And... Uh, I was ready with a raid team that was a little bit more, you know, serious, but they were really nice to me, so that was fine, and I didn't mind because I could, I could do good DPS even with my macros, man. I can, I can, I can do good DPS even with them. So people always, you know, it's fine. People want to call me a scrub for using macros. I don't care, but I have had pretty consistent results and done pretty well in the past with them, and uh, yeah. And so I, I raided Toes for a while, and then I just. Had a lot going on in my personal life. I had a lot to focus on, and I took a long break. And I came back to raiding and to WoW mid to end uh, th Thunder. Isle of Thunder. And I kind of got into some raids there, kind of casually, with some friends. And then I took another break and came back at the end. Because I, I took a break kind of like early on with, with Isle of uh, T Timeless Isle. I didn't really raid, and then I came back near the end of Timeless Isle, probably a couple months before Warlords came out, because I was wanting to get back into things, and that's when I joined up with uh, Furt for a while. And those guys are awesome. That was like the the team with uh, a lot of the AIE folks, a lot of the uh, podcast people, um, Tetsimi and, and Scott, and, and all those guys. I raided with them for a while. So, sorry, I'm trying to think about it. So, like, a lot of AIE folks, and I joined their team for a while, and I really enjoyed playing with them they were a great great group of people they they had the right balance of you know we're here to have fun but we also want to win and beat these guys so we're going to try and uh it was it was the perfect balance like, i feel like because it sucks to be with people that just like they're so angsty about just you know and it's fine you're a gamer you want to be successful you want to do well i get that but like you know some people can be very toxic about it like i hate to use the word toxic but you know well, let's say people can be very deeves about it if you know the reference from the old uh Alexia white video <laughs> and i would never want to play with someone like that so i've never been on a team with anybody like that but uh anyways furt was very good very good people to raid with i would totally raid with them with, with them guys <laughs> with those guys again if they if they had openings and and uh, i had the time so <laughs> um yeah, anyway, so I raided with them all the way from the end of Pandaria, Siege of Ogrimmar, kind of got carried a lot, and then I raided with them all through Warlords, because I remember friggin' Orgorger, that fight screwed us up so bad, but we eventually got it, and yeah, I remember going through all of that, going through um, Hellfire, and yeah, it was great, I raided all through Warlords, actually, that was the best part of Warlords, was the raiding, and then in Legion... I uh, I raided with them early on, and then I, I kind of stepped away from the game again because I had a lot going on with my life again, and I was, you know, I met my wife, and, and I was getting a job, and, and it just didn't have the time to, to play, so I took a break, and I haven't really raided since then. So any raiding that I've done since then has been, you know, um, kind of like through LFR or maybe just in a, an occasional, you know, pug I'd hop in and do something, but not not very often. Just since since I've been married and just had so much going on, so that's why you know when I make guides, that's why I'm a very very beginner level, entry level guides. I don't make like end game min max level guides. I I I cater to a more you know casually minded, easy going. I don't like to say casual because I feel like a lot of people think of that as a demeaning ter term. It's more like I like to think of it as people who are more easygoing or just not taking the game all that seriously, just having fun and just, you know. So I, m most of my guides, you know, and that's why I make macros as well, because it's not aimed towards the hardest of the hardcore. It's aimed towards people who are more casual like me, because I, first of all, even if I was really into the game, I could not master every class to, well enough to, to teach you know, everybody how to play the class at, like, the ultimate level. But what I can do and what I like to do, uh, why I like to do the guides, you know, the rotation guides, along with the macro videos, is to educate people on the basics. Because I feel like a lot of times if, if people just come in and use my macros and they, they don't, you know, inform themselves and, and educate themselves on how the class is meant to be played, then it's, it's a detriment to, you know, them 
it's it's not fair to the that person uh, and it's not fair to other people that might you know be in a group with those people who haven't put forth the effort to learn so i do all i can to encourage people to learn the game i think it's important it's a game after all and you should know how to play it if i was playing monopoly with someone and they didn't want to educate themselves on how to play the game, then I really wouldn't want to play the game with them. So, anywho, that's why I do that. I think it's very important to know how to play the game. And I try to give the best the best information I do, my research. I go to the class discords, and, and I try to learn all that stuff. I point people in that direction so that they can learn more about their class. And, I, again, I just think it's very important. Oh, so we're at the cage now. That's what we're doing. Got to unlock the cage. The weird, stupid cage that makes no sense. All right, I'm glad we could, you know, glad that we could open up the cage that's here. Why is it even here? I don't know. We're going to move on. That was like so long ago. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you'd like, you can support this channel on Patreon. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.